Are you uninsured but don't want to die? Yeah! Too bad! This advertisement was sponsored by citizens who want to make Bob feel bad about not having health insurance. Ugh, why is health insurance so unbelievably expensive? It all started about a hundred years ago. In the 1920s, healthcare wasn't a very big business. The cures of the day were pretty ineffective and people mostly saw hospitals as dangerous places where sick people went to die. An absolute last resort. So it's no surprise that during the Great Depression, hospitals had great difficulty in staying open. To remedy this, they began asking school districts and large firms to have their employees each pay a small monthly fee to support them. In exchange, they would receive health care in the unlikely event they ever needed it. They also lobbied the government to make other kinds of insurance illegal, reducing competition in health care. But wait, if hospitals were so gross and scary, wouldn't people still want to stay away from them even if they had insurance? Good question. At around the same time, hospital standards began increasing, and the widening availability of penicillin made various surgical procedures a lot safer. Life expectancy in developed nations began to increase, and more Americans were seeing healthcare as something worth purchasing. So how did health insurance end up getting tied to a person's employment? Because World War II era price controls were preventing employers from raising wages. So the only way to compete for new workers was to offer them benefits, like this trendy health insurance thing. Then in 1943, the National War Labor Board and the IRS decreed health insurance premiums paid by employers were exempt from income tax. As a result, 90% of private insurance in the US is provided through employers. 90%? That's insane! How are people supposed to quit a bad job if they can't keep their insurance? It's a lot harder. And that's not the only issue with an employer-based health insurance model. Employers are usually less price sensitive than individuals, so it may be one of the factors contributing to the ever-inflating cost of medical care. Also, it reduces competition. Your insurance company generally has you locked down as a customer based on who your employer is, so there's not a whole lot of incentive for them to care about your individual needs. The healthcare system in the US is unbelievably tangled up into various knots, and while there's no single clear solution, Coupling it from employment would be a good start. Until then, leeches are still a part of healthcare. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, check out the links in the description because we bring the receipts and leave a comment below. We'll see you on the next wonderful, exhilarating episode of Common Sense Soapbox. Check it out.